we want bullets, hunting bullets, personal defense bullets. We have a set of parameters of things that we're trying to achieve with it, right? There's, there's requirements that we have that this is what the bullet needs to do to be effective. And that's mainly, especially personal defense, it's penetration expansion. How big can we get the bullet to, to be? How deep can we get it to go? How much tissue can we crush? It's important to understand that um, energy, velocity and energy, they're interesting aspects to consider because they help you achieve that, that end goal of penetration expansion, but they don't necessarily correlate to terminal performance. So uh, a really hot 10 millimeter, for example, isn't necessarily going to achieve something that another 10 millimeter doesn't. So what we wanna do is, is get to that perfect 14 to 16 inches of penetration and get the projectile as big as we can, because that is, what, that is the maximum we're gonna be able to achieve with a handgun round. So you take it and push it another 100 feet per second faster, you're not going to see more wounding potentially. And if you would, we would do it. But what you'll start to see is uh, maybe over penetrations. Um, maybe the, the upset expands in a way where you actually get more shallow penetrations because you're growing it fast, trying to push it too quick. So you see changes in the performance. So we don't get hung up on energy, velocity. We get hung up on penetration, expansion, the things that really are meaningful to terminal performance. We focus on that first, and then the other things just kind of happen. Before we wrapped up the interview, I asked Johan and Chris each if they could pick just one or two things that they wished more shooters understood about ballistics and handgun ammo, what would they be? I don't think they did this on purpose, but it's interesting that they had similar answers. The idea that you need velocity, you have to push it fast to get a bullet to do a certain thing. We really have known that that wasn't the case since the 80s. We can make, with this modern technology, a bullet do just about anything we want it to do. So it's really find a bullet that works really well and don't get hung up on lots of numbers and other stuff and, and muzzle energy and all Hold that. Hold on, Lewis, pause it real quick. Make a bullet do Because <clears throat> he said an interesting thing. Yeah. He said we can get bullets to do almost anything we, we want them to do. You, Correct. You agree, you agree with that? Because there was a movie that came out years ago. I think. It was oh, called, Lord. <laughs> it was called Wanted, right? So they would be spinning the gun and make the bullets spin like that. So is that possible? Can you make a bullet spin and do all that stuff? Because that's the first thing I thought about when he said that. Now, Brandon's <laughs> going off topic a little bit, so I'm Correct. about to make this statement. Brandon, you like Skittles, <laughs> don't you? Mm, I'm not going to. I'm not going to say yes or no to that. But go ahead. Okay, yes, you, we'll under, you understand what a rainbow is, right? <laughs> yes, I do. Most people don't know this. A bullet behaves once it shoots, it behaves like a rainbow. Mm -hmm. So a rainbow, when it goes up <laughs> and it goes down, down. Uh -huh. right? So when you, when, a, when you shoot a bullet, at I don't call it, count a bullet, at one point, it's going to be higher than where you shot it at. Can't you believe that, Brandon? <laughs> yes. And then it's going to fall. Right. So if I take that and turn it sideways, <laughs> it may be a chance. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> so, but I, I don't think so, just because it goes up and comes down because of gravity and it's losing momentum, or not necessarily momentum, but it's just losing the force that it has. So it's going to go down with the gravity. So if you turn it sideways, <laughs> it's going to do the same thing. But you know, they did a movie about it and it make you wonder can, is that possible? And he says we can make bullets do that. So. I was just going to jump in and say that real quick. Now, Brent, okay, let me clarify what this guy said. He said we can make bullets, handgun bullets, to expand and penetrate any way they want to. Okay. And he said the a handgun bullet is the expanding part that's really has the older thing going for it because – the, the wave it creates in your body don't hurt nothing else. It's just the expanding part. It's the mm -hmm. crushing motion going through your body. That's mm -hmm. the only thing that matters. Brandon going to make that comment, but, <laughs> but I hope you learned something about the rainbow. Oh, no, man. I am, for real. Yeah, and, and that's, like I say, it's kind of good because you it's some stuff that's just common sense for you. A lot of people don't know this kind of stuff, and you kind of think, and it's fantasy world because they make these movies like The Matrix and – you know, you see how bullets are coming and we know we can't dodge bullets, but can you slow bullets down? Can you make them faster with the same type of gun? You know, just some of these questions, he, which made me think about what he was saying. So I just we're going to throw that out.